What's up, y'all? You already know it's Motivational Monday, and I want to talk about something that actually motivated me. Like, honestly, like, if you guys know on Netflix, there's this new series or new show that came out, or actually movie, and it's Ronnie Col called Ronnie Coleman the King. And I never really had a favorite bodybuilder. Like, I was never like, oh, this is my favorite bodybuilder of all time. Like, Calvin Von Moger, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I just always was like, yo, these are the greats. But I actually found a bodybuilder that I want to not be like, because you, you should always be yourself, but kind of like mold myself around. That person is Ronnie Coleman. Now, 40 minutes into the documentary, my heart's just like, I'm, I'm literally have the, the chills because this man's story is just so motivating. Like, you guys have to watch it. Like, my reaction to this movie, I like, wow. I was just like, wow, 10 out of 10. Like, amazing job by Generation Iron in that film. For example, you know, Kevin Lavrone, Flex Wheeler, some of the greats competed against Ronnie Coleman. But here's the thing, when Ronnie Coleman first started out, they didn't even look at him. They were just, they, he, Ronnie Coleman wasn't even in the callouts. The king of bodybuilding was started out not even in the callouts. And if you don't know what callouts are, that means the judge didn't even consider him to be a, a finalist for Mr. Olympia or whatever title he was doing. Now watch this clip right here. This thing was a work in progress. I believe he got dead last in that competition. When it comes to Ronnie Coleman, he was so far back in the pack in my economy of a, a great bodybuilder. Uh, you gotta remember, I came up behind Lee Haney and behind Dorian Yates and, and with Flex and with Kevin. You guys heard it. People didn't look at Ronnie Coleman when he first started out. Nobody even considered him to be or to even achieve the things he was going to achieve. The eight time Mr. Olympia, they once called a work in progress. They once put him dead last. His first show, he didn't even go to call outs. The eight time Mr. Olympia, when he started out, they called him a work in process. Now just think about that. Think about the journey you're going through and the beginning stages when you're struggling just to move mountains and move across obstacles. Just think about it. Don't give up, because you see it right here. This documentary is full evidence and all the motivation you need to do whatever it is you're doing. Man, like, whatever you're going through, whatever like you think, or whatever, you, if you feel like you're not going nowhere, you gotta keep working, like, you gotta remember that the most successful people in this world, they all started out somewhere where they didn't wanna be. They all had to go through struggles and hardships and all these type of obstacles. And I kinda, I kinda relate this to me because of my show, I got third place. Third place. I'm not saying it's bad, but I would've liked to get first, right? But it's okay, cause like Ronnie Coleman was, I'm a work in progress. This isn't the finished product yet for me. I still got more ways to go. I still got more life to live, more competitions ahead of me. Now pay attention to this next, this last clip I wanna show you guys before we end this Motivational Monday off and let it stick with you. This stuff. And I'm like, dude, why do you keep doing this? I felt like saying, why are you wasting your time? I was like, man, what are you doing? I mean, if, if I wouldn't even do this if I'm not winning. That, that's my approach, because I'm out there to win. And Ronnie's, Looked at me and he says, this is because I love doing it. I mean, I love bodybuilding. People asked him, why do you keep going on? You keep losing, bro. You keep getting dead last. Why do you keep going? Because Ronnie Coleman loved to bodybuild. That was his passion. For any of you out there and people ask you, oh, why are you playing basketball? Why are you playing football? All you got to tell them, man, look him in the eyes. Because I love doing what I do. Same goes for me. I love, I love this. I love working out. I love bodybuilding. I love powerlifting. When people say, you know, why do you keep doing it? Why do you do this every day? Why do you, why do you go to the gym for two hours, bro? Like, why do you do it? Cause I love it. And I don't know. I hope you guys get something out of this. Cause you know, I surely did. I recommend all you guys to go watch this documentary. Cause it's honestly moving. Shout out to Generation Iron for this one. Cause this one right here, this one hit home for me. And this is all the motivation I need for. 2019, 2020, and all the years upcoming, and all the shows that I'm, I'm looking forward to doing. So I hope you all like this video. Make sure you go check out this uh, Ronnie Coleman, the King documentary. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe.
and freak season baby let's get it